Angus Matthews McNichols <clears throat> biography. I was abandoned in a city called an Amen. When I was a child, there is there is where that is where I saw firsthand how corrupted it was. Praying on the weak and feeding the rich. When I was about six years old, I just needed to get out of there. I decided to live in the woods. At least it was fair out there, not like the city. There is where I found my true self. The druids called me the wild child. For many years I lived in an, an old abbey. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Abbey that had a sun statue in it. I had no clue what the heck it was or why it was there. The abbey has been abandoned for many years before I found it. It didn't even have a roof. I found friends with ghosts that lived there and the beasts that live in the, in the wilderness. One year there was a young woman wearing robes with the sun on her chest and, and her back. She went into the abbey and kneeled in front of the statue that in in that abbey she was there for a while when she was done i followed her into the woods and stopped her i asked her what she was doing in the abbey she said she was a clergy of atomnator <laughs> i can't pronounce that word <laughs> and was on a holy pilgrimage to the Sword Coast and the Neverwinter. As she said with a smile, I looked back to the Abbey, then to her, but when I had turned to her, she was gone. So I decided to try what she did in front of the statue. When I, and I heard a voice telling me to aid Lord Protector in Neverwinter. Two days later, I left to Sword Coast to aid the Lord Protector and hope to find that woman again and ask her what her name is. And that's my background story, my biography, and my DT. Anyways, hope you enjoy.
that. <laughs> well, there were a lot of heavy players out here. Anyway, I just I hope you like this. If you like this, press that like button. If you want to subscribe, well, that's your choice. Everyone have a wonderful day. Cheers.